हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्राइस यू यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज स्कॉलरशिप एग्जाम स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ ऑनलाइन क्लास सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स एंड द टॉपिक इज टेस्ट फॉर डिविजिबिलिटी फैक्टर्स एंड मल्टीपल्स ऑफ नंबर्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्सरसाइज 14.2 पॉइंट टू विच इज अवेलेबल ऑन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी वन एंड देर आर द टोटल एग्जाम्पल्स नाइन ओके सो द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द नंबर एट हैज फोर फैक्टर्स द नंबर ट्वेल्व हैज सिक्स फैक्टर्स so here एट multiply by ट्वेल्व is नाइंटी सिक्स इज गिवन सो हाउ मेनी फैक्टर्स डज द नंबर नाइंटी सिक्स है सो वी विल डस्ट जस्ट कैलकुलेट ऑल द नाइंटी सिक्स फैक्टर्स मीन्स वन एंड देन नाइंटी सिक्स ईयर टू देन फोर्टी एट फोर देन थ्री ईयर द थर्टी टू एंड आफ्टर दिस वन द फोर देन हीयर ट्वेंटी फोर एंड देन हीयर द सिक्स इज देयर so 6 means 16 should be there then 8 is there 8 and 12 okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 नाइन टेन सो ट्वेल्व मीन्स ऑप्शन नंबर फोर इज द करेक्ट ना क्वेश्चन नंबर टू विच ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट फाइव डिजिट नंबर फॉर्म बाय यूजिंग द डिजिट फाइव देन सिक्स देन सेवन एट एंड नाइन only once so 9 should be only once we have to use and divisible by 8 so the criteria should be divisible by 8 so now the condition is it should be divisible by 8 means that number should be form of having the even number okay so five digit number we have to form suppose this is a five digit number so either 6 or either 8 should be at the unit place okay so then only that is the even number and If suppose here the six and the eight we have taken, so in a multiples of the eight, which number having the unit six uh, in their unit place? So there is a fifty six is there, okay? There is a uh, then sixteen uh, also there, but one digit is not here. So from this criteria, if suppose five, if you placing here fifty six means yes it can be. If you place the seven here, that seventy six comes. so it cannot be divisible by 8 and if you place the 96 here so yes it can be divisible by 8 but 9 should be we have to use at greatest one because we have to form the greatest five digit if we use the 9 here number may be the smaller one so we will choose 56 here okay and then 8 we will here because the 8 uh, divisibility says that last three digit number means 100 then tens and the unit place digits forming number should be divisible by 8 and now 8 56 can be divisible by 8 okay so uh, remaining should be the only the seven digit and this seven we will replace here so the number forming is 97000 Eight hundred and fifty-six. So this is the greatest one. If we replace this seven and nine here, it is not the greatest one. So that's why this criteria we will not use. We will use the ninety-seven here. Okay, and this is our criteria for the divisibility of the eight. So the complete number is forming this one, and this is given in option number four. Now question number three. What is the difference between the number of prime factors and all the factors of the numbers thirteen? So, the difference between the number of prime factors and the factors of the number. So, thirteen having the prime factors we have to use uh, calculate. So, prime factor means two, then fifteen here, then three. So, three five da. And five one da. So prime factor means two, three, five. So here the total counting is the three, one, two, and three. So factor here for this thirty one and then thirty, then two and fifteen, then three and ten. So four should not be then five and six. After this one, five, six, seven, eight, nothing is there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So counting is the eight. So eight and three having the difference five. And five is given in option number two. Now question number four: How many factors does the number forty-five have? So forty-five factors we have to calculate. So means one and forty-five. Then uh, after this one, the two should not be so three, fifteen threes are, and then four should not be five. Five and then nines are, 
after this one six seven eight and nine already taken so okay one two three four mm. five and six six factors are there six is given option number four now question number five which of the following numbers have only two factors so the main criteria of the two factors means that should be the prime number because every prime number have the two factor means one and that number itself okay so suppose there is a five now now we will take this five digit five is the prime number so five having the factor one and that five itself okay if suppose there is a nine this number we will take so one and nine and then after the three also there and uh, okay the three is there so means two more than the two is there okay so this is not a prime number so the two factor means that is the prime number so there is the which of the following numbers have only two factor means we have to choose uh, the prime number from the options that is the meaning so option number one is the 73 yes that is a prime number then 75 77 and 81 are not a prime number so that's why option number one is the correct one now question number six how many numbers between 10 and 30 having only two factors having only two factors means they are asking the prime numbers and that how many numbers mean that counting we have to do so from 10 means after the 10 11 is there then 13 then 17 then 19 then 23 and 29 and after that one the 30 already this is our limit so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so there are the 6 numbers and 6 num is given in option number 2 is the correct one now question number 7 which of the following is not a multiple of the number 19 multiple of the number means that is a 19 tables means that number should be comes in a multiple of the 9 so if you see option 1 is the already that is the 19 then option number 2 57 yes that is the comes means 19 threes are option number 3 75 never comes in a 19 stable so option number 3 is a correct and option number 4 in 95 yes that is a comes in a 19 multiple means 19 fives are 95 and we have to choose the is a number that not a multiple so option number 3 is a correctly which is not in multiples of the 19 now question number 8 which one of the following group of numbers represent the common factors of 44 and 66 now so we will just note down first 44 common factor and 66 common factor so 44 is having 1 then 44 then 2 and 22 so 3 should not be then there should be 4 and 11 after there is nothing is there so then 66 1 and 66 after this one the 2 and 33 so 4 should not be there 5 should not be there 6 yes 6 multiplied by this 11 yes 3 is missing 3 and 22 also okay so only this one so common means this one then this 2 then 11 and this 22 also so 1 2 3 and 4 so this 4 are given in option number now question number 9 find the sum of all the divisors of the sum of the highest divisor of 39 and the lowest divisor of 27 now 39's highest divisor means that number itself means 39 and lowest divisor of the 27 means here the lowest and here the highest so lowest means that is the one so 39 plus 1 that is a 40 and in a question asking the sum of all the divisors of the sum of the highest divisor so this sum we already counted so 40 divisors additions we have to take so 1 and then 40 then 2 and then uh, here 20 then 4 then here the 10 and 5 then 5 etza so additions we have to take so 1 plus 2 3 plus 4 7 plus 5 12 plus uh, 8 20 20 and this 20 40 and this 50 and this 90 so 90 is addition and 90 is given in option number 2 thank you